Will this figure be a crushing disappointment? Today we're taking a look at Haya Toys Aliens Colonial Marines Xenomorph Crusher. Welcome back. Before we take a look at the Xenomorph Crusher, a question for you. Did you play the Aliens Colonial Marines video game? And if so, what did you think of it? I did try it. I played it for about an hour or so. I found it very generic. It didn't really feel like Aliens and... I know what happens in the story, and yeah, no thanks. The, f the figures are cool, but the game, not for me. Anyway, moving on to the figure. You see, window box for uh, the alien crusher there. You don't really get a good look at his face for you uh, mint in box collectors, but still. Floating Marines logo on the top. Logo on the side back just some pictures of the uh, figure there and some contact information so let's get him open and see how he looks so here we have the crusher alien out of his packaging and the first thing we'll do is uh, go ahead and measure him up so as you can see he stands about uh, four and three quarter inches tall about 12 centimeters and from about the tip of his tail to the very front of him He's just about 12 inches long. The uh, camera makes it look like it's 11, but in reality, it's closer to 12. We do have some things to talk about, but first we'll uh, go over the accessories he comes with. We do get four of the traditional Ohio stands that you get with the alien figures. The grating uh, effect. These are uh, not quite as silver as some of the other ones that with the uh, other figures. Of course, I don't think this guy really needs the uh, stands, but they are included. You also get eight of the H brackets here. So you can put them in there and then attach another stand on this side or any other side you want. You also get uh, four replacement hands or feet. These, I would assume, are the back, and they uh, are more flat, so the left and right. Then these, more for the front hands or front paws, kind of clawing ones. So you can replace those. So now, on to issues. Yeah. So when I took this guy out of the box, I went and I slowly moved this, slowly working the uh, joints the way I usually do, testing out the articulation, and this snapped off immediately. As soon as I touched it, it snapped off. You can see there was a little peg that goes in there, and it's still in there. So uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to do all of the uh, poses and that that I'd like to, but... Uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, I don't shy away from showing flaws with uh, this kind of thing. And I thought uh, it was important to still go through with the review and perhaps warn other people if they uh, get this figure too to be very, very, very careful with it. Unfortunately, this is a sold out figure, so uh, getting a replacement will probably not be possible. I should be able to, at worst, uh, just glue this in here so it'll still stand. But uh, yeah. It, if you get this, be very careful. So ignoring that and just going over the aesthetic of the figure itself, it is a very cool figure. Like I said, I never played that much of the game, so I don't really know what its function was. Uh, I think it was like a big bowl thing that would charge you. It was definitely a boss, I know that. And uh, I really like this design. It's kind of like a um, an alien king. I know there's been... Uh, depictions of that in comics and stuff like that but uh, the big crest in that very queen like very uh, bulky in that this is a very heavy figure all the weight is in that head that head is a solid piece of plastic it's very heavy um, the aesthetics on it are uh, really nice you look at the face there 
The teeth aren't silver. I'm not exactly sure if they're supposed to be. Um, I would prefer them to be silver. The jaw does open. And unlike some of the other xenomorphs, the uh, the tongue is uh, a little bit easier to, or a little bit uh, more difficult to get out. So you gotta kind of go in. Of course, it's much bigger, so it's uh, easier to uh, grab hold of it. And you can see the detail on the back there. It's got that uh, fifth pipe there that the uh, big chap had, as long as the other four. These are kind of a softer rubber as we go along. More of like a, a dog's body there. Really echoing a lot of the different uh, design elements we've seen in all the aliens, kind of mashed into one big fin on the uh, tail there. And the large spike, which no doubt was quite deadly in the game. One of the legs. Again, like a dog's, it's not, uh, being a video game doesn't have to fit a person in a suit like the uh, ones you see in the films there. The underside. And more of a kind of a traditional alien design, seeing the sort of exposed ribs and everything there. So on the whole, I really like this design, and I think it is a cool uh, looking figure, even though I have no real connection to the, the video game itself. I think it makes for a nice, uh, unique alien. And I don't know if this uh, particular design of alien has crossed over into any of the other comics or things like that, so this might be the only figure of it you will get. Uh, I'm not sure if NECA did uh, a figure of this. I assume not, given its size, but uh, it is very cool. So moving on to articulation, like I said, we're going to be very, very careful here because I don't want to further damage it in case any of the joints are weak. So the head does go up and down. Again, like I said, this figure, or this uh, character in the game, I, uh, I'm pretty sure it would charge you in that. So it, putting its head down was a big uh, part of its... Uh, attacks there. It does turn from side to side. Like I said, the jaw is articulated. The front legs do move back and forth. This will bend. I'll be very, very careful with that. And the uh, The paws are on uh, rotation there. They do not move up and down. As for the torso, it does have a little bit of wiggle side to side and a very slight bit going back and forth. The back legs do spread a little bit. The front legs do not. We do have the double bend knee and kick back like that. This also has a little bit of a wiggle to it. This uh, secondary knee. And then like the front, the, uh, the feet here don't really go back and forth too much, but they do swivel around from side to side. And the tail is a bendy wire. So you have full range of movement for it. And uh, the wire ends just before the fin there. So I do apologize that this review was so short and that I didn't really show off different poses or uh, really play with the articulation too much. I just don't want to damage it any more than it already is. Uh, if it hadn't have broken, I would have thought that this is an amazing figure. I do love this figure. I do like this, these unique alien designs, and I think this is a cool one. Um, it's just a shame that the uh, joints were so brittle. Now, it should be noted that this is an older release from Haya Toys. It is out of print, as far as I know. They don't make any more. And uh, they certainly have improved since this with the joints. Uh, we've seen in recent Predator releases, 
they've uh, updated the joints and they're far sturdier figures. Uh, so if you do get this uh, alien, just be careful when you move it around. Don't move it if you don't have to. Uh, I will be gluing this and I will proudly, proudly display it with my other aliens. It's just, it's a shame it broke. Uh, and like I said, it is a figure that is no longer in production. So if it is one that you do want, uh, I would uh, not wait to get it. I would uh, try to get it as soon as you can. You might still find it in a comic shop near you. That's where I found this and uh, they only had the one. So I unfortunately will not be able to replace it. Uh, but thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.